Welcome guys to another one of my uh, unboxing slash review videos. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the Twinkly line. Um, first of all, uh, as you can see on the box, it is a standard LED, not RGBW. Uh, it's five foot. Uh, it's a starter kit, which means it is extendable. And let's go ahead and open it up. And I'll explain more to open it. Twinkly's always been really good about packaging their stuff in a way that makes you sad that you have to open it. Because it's kind of hard to get open. Okay, here's your thank you card. Thank you for buying Twinkly. Aren't you the best? Here's some stickers for you. And here's the strip. Now, the interesting thing about this strip is it comes with some features that a lot of strips do not. There's a reason that it costs, basically, uh, uh, 15 feet of it would be like over 100 bucks. I got these on sale for like $28 a piece. So I didn't pay full price, but my other set that I have... I didn't pay, I didn't get that cheaply. And I really feel sorry for the guy that has to box these things. Jeez. These boxes are like origami. All right. So here's the strip. As you can see, they are standard WS2811s. However, the interesting thing about them is, is you see that shiny bit? There's magnets embedded in the strip. And the backside is completely sticky. Now these aren't technically waterproof, but I think the reason for that is, is these ends are, are basically exposed. And because we know for a fact that these controllers are IP44, we know this already. The power supply specifically on this unit is a little weird. It's a uh, universal one for Europe or the United States. So you just get a, uh, you have to put the prongs on it yourself. They include the correct prongs. And uh, also you get some, in the same container, there's some clips. So that if you just want to mount this clip on something, you can click the line to it. But this is pretty easy to put on. You just put it in, partial turn, rotate. Now it's on there forever. Obviously, there was no seal on that, so this power supply is not waterproof. If you wanted to use this thing outside, you would have to basically put it in a case. Uh, it's pretty easy to hook up. Just have a connector right there, and then there's prongs off the end, the other end, that just plug into it. Now, as I said, these are standard WS2811s, and you, in fact, can run this off of a normal Pixel controller if you want to. You just have to know which wire is which. Consequently, you can also run WS2811s off of this controller, although from the factory, it's hard-coded to only work with 90 or 180 pixels. There are ways around that by tricking it with API calls, but I don't think you can control more than... Uh, 500 with it um, and more importantly uh, most pixels that I've seen that are for sale are RGB and this thing is hard coded from the factory to be uh, BGR I believe it might be someone else but I know it's not RGB it might be GRB uh, in any case, one of the things that makes this neat compared to normal LED strips is how narrow it is. You'll notice that that's probably three-eighths of an inch. I have a set running right now inside a PEX ring. And there you see that in operation. Alexa, turn off the dining room light. You can see it's plenty bright. And then just to expose to see what it looks like while it's running. These are very bright pixels considering how, 
and they almost look like, it's hard to say, like faceted gems. This is the most high quality strip light I've ever seen, to be honest, especially for the size. I would compare the quality to say a Hue light, um, but it's more useful than that. Alexa, turn on the dining room light. Okay. Well, there you have it. You've seen the pixel light turned on and there's a complete uh, breakdown of, of the features. Anything else in the box? Yes, there is. Uh, there is a user manual underneath it. Uh, if you own any Twi Twinkly products, though, you probably don't need to look in this. But there you have it. That's a a uh, review of the Twinkly line. Thank you.